The conversation regarding salmon and the four dams on the lower Snake River continues to gain momentum. This Saturday, a region-wide vigil will be held to observe sockeye salmon being on the endangered species list for 30 years. I talked with the Idaho Conservation League to learn more about this event. See them boys in the river. The Shoshone Bannock tribes made a push to get sockeye salmon listed on the Endangered Species Act, and they were able to do so back in 1991. And that year, four wild sockeye salmon swam back to Idaho, and 30 years later, we had the same result. So on Saturday, the Idaho Conservation League, Idaho Rivers United, and the Sierra Club will host a vigil on the steps of the Capitol as advocates for salmon, including the tribes, focus their attention on four dams on the Lower Snake River. Removing those four dams on the Lower Snake River is the most significant action that we can take to recovering this fish population. This vigil will not only happen in Boise and Sun Valley, but there will be several vigils throughout Oregon and Washington. So regional call to action. Um, Representative Simpson has showed incredible leadership in Idaho and now other elected officials across the Northwest are starting to create conversations and hopefully take action soon. In October, the Biden administration took a step to protect salmon, outlying how the eight dams in the Columbia River Basin will be managed during 2022. Plus, Washington's Governor Jay Inslee and Senator Patty Murray say they will come up with a plan of action by the summer of next year. We're witnessing extinction. These salmon have been on the brink of extinction, frankly, for longer than I've been alive. And so we really need urgent action because the status quo isn't working. Salmon means so much to the tribes, anglers, and fishing communities like Riggins. But they don't return to their spawning grounds in the Salmon River like they used to. And I feel incredibly lucky that I've been able to see sockeye salmon and they didn't go extinct before this time. But I'm hoping that we can return them to abundance so that we can see why Redfish Lake was named Redfish Lake. The vigil happens at the State House from 4 o'clock to 5.30. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.